Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. In today's episode, let's look at the Track Changes feature of iWork Pages. So here I am in Pages 09. Now to turn on Change Tracking, you go to Edit, Track Changes. And this adds an extra bar here at the top of the document. Now let's say I want to make some changes here. I select a word and I'm going to start typing the replacement for it. You can see what it's done is it struck out the word I had selected and replaced it with this word. As I roll over it, I get some information about when the replacement happened. I can see some more information in the left sidebar. If I click on this button here, it will expand the left side and it will draw an arrow, a little line here, to the change and tell me a little bit about it. One of these appears whenever I make a change. So, for instance, if I were to make a formatting change here. You can see it also adds it here and it says that it was formatted bold and it points to the area that was changed. Now I can change what I see here using the view markup pull down here. It's set to view all the markup but I could actually have it viewed without the deletions. So you can see the word ideas went away and there's a tiny little triangle there showing that there was something that was deleted and I still see the new word there. I can also view final so basically it shows me the document as if I've accepted all the changes. If I ever want to make some changes but not have them show up in tracking, I can always pause tracking here and make the change. And it won't be recorded there. Then I can turn tracking back on and everything else from this point on will be tracked. Now notice everything I do here is in blue. There's uh, the blue changes here, the blue comments to the left. I can change that by going to this menu here, changing the author color to something else. And you can see it changes all of the things that I'm tracking, the changes I made, to this color. Now it knows if I've made a change and if somebody else gets this document and they make a change, it'll use their color. It'll also use their name. You can find that under Preferences uh, under Change Tracking. It's got my name right here and that would be different for somebody else using another copy of Pages. You can also add comments when you're doing changes. If you select something here, click on the comment button here at the top and you can type whatever you want here on the left to leave a comment for somebody to review later. Now say several people have gone through a document and made some suggestions. You can go through this document now and accept or reject the different changes. One way to do it is using this little check mark or X right here check something off and it accepts that change and the tracking is now gone for that. A lot of other ways to do it as well. For instance, I can use this menu over here and accept all the changes if that's what I want to do or reject all the changes. So you can kind of go through and reject some and then accept the rest or accept some and reject the rest. You also have these handy up and down arrows right here. You can flip through the different changes. That's very useful if you have a very long document with just a few changes suggested throughout. And you can also change what shows here on the left, these tracking bubbles. You can have it show all, show only for the selection you're over. So for instance, I select that or I select this. It'll show me what the text is there. I can also have it show or not show the formatting ones. And since that was a formatting change, it will hide it now. So there's a look at tracking changes in pages. It's very useful if you're writing a document and you want somebody else to edit it but then you want to review their suggestions. You could also use it for multiple writers and multiple editors tracking suggestions and accepting or rejecting things throughout a longer editing process. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.